Hello guys, welcome once again. In this video, I will show you how to use tab control with your Visual Basic Windows Form application. So let's get started. I will just go to my toolbox and I will search for the tab control. Here it is. I will drag and drop into my form. And for the first time when you drag and drop this uh, tab control into your form, it has two tabs tab 1 and tab 2 by default so generally uh, we want to use tab control when you have uh, little space and you want to show more so you can double your space which is available on one form by using uh, tab controls okay so let me show you first of all how uh, we can generate more tabs in this tab control. So just select your tab control and just go to this collection and here you can add new tabs. So right now I have two tabs. Once again I will show you just select this tab control as a whole and go to the property called tab pages and select this button and then add a new tab from here okay like this and likewise if you want to remove the tab just click this remove button now you can also change the text of this these tabs for example I select first tab and the name of this tab is tab page 1 and text of this tab I will change it as login tab for example and the second tab I will name it as uh, image, images tab and third tab is to close the application this is just the demonstration so you can do whatever you want so when I do this you see here all the tabs have now the heading which I have provided to them right and there are other properties like background color if you want to change background images also if you have any you can give these images just go to the local resources and just set any image which you want for example this image I select and click OK and you see in the close tab I have this image right you have font you have four color so basically you just need to play with the properties in order to run or you in order to use these tabs so now when I run the program I have three tabs one is login one is image and one is close which have the background image which I set and this has uh, the efficiency of space right so you your space is now multiplied by three which was available previously right because we are using three tabs and you can segregate your task in these tabs this is also one use so for example now you want to add some of the tools in the first tab it's just very easy for example I want to add a button I want to add some uh, label here so I will search for uh, the label one and two and I will also take a text box or a two tab text box so I will change the name of uh, this or text of the label which is first is name and second is surname for example okay so it works like uh, normal tools uh, it has 
no effect or the these tools or text box or label or button have no effect whatsoever while they are in these tabs so they will work so they, this name can be used as it is we have used earlier this has text box one so this has is its own name it doesn't change or doesn't matter if you are using tabs or not right so like this and for example in second Im second tab I want to show some image so I will take a picture box from here and then I will choose an image go to the local resources and choose an image which image I want to choose like this okay and I will make it zoom so it will be stretched or you can make it stretch image so that it will stretch to your picture box and on the third you can add a button and call it call this button as exit button so I say this is a exit button this is just a small demonstration so you can do whatever you want with the tabs I will just double click this and I will say end and when I run the program now just click this and run the program and it has normal functioning for the login page for the image tab it has my images and for for the close tab it has exit button which when I press it exits so in this way you can use tab control with your visual basic windows form application I hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now